hung up his boots playing for Naron in the Galician 3rd Division in 2008 after a 15-season long professional career which took him to every category of Spanish football. These days, he's still involved with the game from the dugout. He remained in Galicia and after winning promotion to the Preferente Autonomica with Payo Saco, this season he's in charge of the historic Cerceda in the Galician 3rd Division. I think you have to be humble enough to respect the profession and to realize that having been a player in the elite of the game doesn't necessarily make you a good coach. I began at the base level and moved up to a modest club, and it was then that this project came up, which is a bigger challenge. They're big steps, but they're the right ones to be taking. His playing career took him, amongst other destinations, to Real Betis Balompié and Football Club Barcelona. He was Betis's revelation player in the 94-95 season when Barcelona came calling. I wasn't really aware of it. I was going to a teammate's wedding from Seville to Jerez. They told me that Barcelona were willing to pay my release clause and had spoken to Betis, and that was that. For a kid from Seville, just 22, that was big news. But that's how it happened, and that's how I took it. I'll never forget it. It was a hard decision, but a nice one. Barcelona paid 500 million pesetas for him, but his spell at the Camp Nou was marred by injury. In his Liga debut with the club, he seriously injured his knee. It was a mishap that could have marked his career, but Ángel prefers to look at it from a different perspective. Maybe yes, maybe no. I prefer to think of the glass as half full because I also remember the fantastic teammates I've had throughout my career, both at a professional level and in the academy at Betis. And so many of them had the talent but never made it. Things can always be better, but they can be worse as well. I feel fortunate for having had a 15-year professional career. I don't know what might have happened if I hadn't got injured. But the truth is I was lucky to spend two years at Barca. And they could have been better, obviously, but if it had happened a month earlier, who knows what would have happened? So I've got respect for all the players who've tried to make it but have never got there. Like I said, I had 15 years as a pro and I'm satisfied with what I achieved. Ángel Cuella was a teammate of Pep Guardiola at Barcelona. Now the coach from Extremadura believes that Guardiola helped football to evolve. He's a person very intelligent, he's a person who conseguido. He's an intelligent person. He studied ways of improving football. He turned it all around, especially in terms of bringing defensive solidity to the game and in looking to win the ball as close as possible to the rival's area to be able to do the maximum damage. That was his success. His year as a player gave him the chance of learning from great managers. Cuellar has decided to try to put into practice all he learned from those managers along the way. Luis Aragonés, rest in peace, alongside Manolo Preciado as well. Johan Cruyff was someone who was always one step ahead of what people were doing here. Lorenzo Serra Ferrer was a decisive coach in my career because of how he got performances out of the players. I've taken things which have been important for me from all of them, although I don't think I'm like any of them. And much of what I've taken from them has been what I didn't like about them. I've tried to avoid those things. He's aware of being a beginner on the benches, but he'll be trying his hardest to win promotion with the lads from Oroxo and to take on board as much as possible as he strives to achieve his goal of one day managing the team he carries in his heart. It's what I feel. I've got Betis in my blood. But this is a highly changeable profession. And so that's still a long way ahead. I've still got a lot to learn, and that makes me constantly want to improve and to keep learning. But that doesn't bother me. You have to take it one step at a time. Right now I'm here at this level of the game. Here I have to do the best I can, try and get better all the time, so that I can help everyone else here to improve, and then whatever happens later will be welcome.